In this video, we will cover photodiode as optoelectronic device. It is called optoelectronic because it is its working is based on the optical signal. Uh, how the photodiode is made? Let us see that first. It is like a diode where we have a junction between the P and the N type layers. This is the junction boundary and as you know on the junction boundary we have the depletion region and you have positive charge here and negative charge on this side. This happens because of the diffusion of the majority carriers and at equilibrium, equilibrium you have this electric field which leads to potential barrier. Now in photodiode it is made in such a way that there is an arrangement, there is a window which allows the light, the photons to strike the depletion region in and around the depletion region and what happens when there is a photon having energy H mu when it strikes the semiconductor material in semiconductor we know there is a conduction band conduction band and valence band if we take silicon say about 1.1 electron volt is the energy gap means if you somehow provide the energy which is more than 1.1 electron volt you can generate electron hole pairs the electron will jump from valence band to conduction band and you have hole air and E here in semiconductors the electron hole pairs are generated and destroyed uh, at the same rate so the generation and destruction keeps on happening but what is done in case of photodiode is one is that you need energy gap such that the photons energy is able to excite a electron take it to conduction band and generate EH pairs you also need a mechanism by which the EH pairs do not recombine. We want their separation also and we want to measure or see the change in intensity of light. Intensity. So for doing this, so we need electron hole pairs to separate out and give a current such that we are able to observe the change in intensity of light. So what is done is if you provide a reverse bias, in reverse bias we know P is connected to negative and N is connected to positive. Let us put a resistance and this is the circuit. This is battery, this is negative, this is positive. Now when, when the electron hole pairs are created in the depletion region because of the energy of the photodiode, now there is an electric field in the diode and when you apply this reverse bias, this depletion region further widens and you have an electric field which what it does the holes they move along the electric field they reach here and electrons they cross to this side and if this is the separation between P and N semiconductors what is happening is that the holes the holes which are here in the depletion region let us take from this side they are crossing over holes are minority carrier on N side if you separately look at N side 
let us let me draw only n this is n and this is part of the depletion region on the n side and holes were created electrons were also created and this is electric field the holes have crossed over because of electric field from n side to p side holes are minority carriers here and electrons are majority carriers so it is the current which is generated because of the crossing over of the minority carriers means minority carriers from one side cross over to the other side they cross the junction boundary similarly if we look at the p side this is p this is junction and this is the depletion layer which is on p side and e h pairs have been created by the photon energy electric field is in this direction electrons will move opposite to electric field so electrons cross to the n side and electrons are minority carrier in p side so again there is a current due to minority carriers so in the reverse bias we have seen the current is because of the minority carriers and not because of the majority carriers now the question arises why we have put the reverse bias why not the forward bias let us see how the the change in the current is happening let there be let us take p side i am separately taking this p side and in this p side there are holes and electrons before striking off photon and holes are much much more than electrons holes are the majority holes are majority electrons are minority i am showing by small m when the photon strikes here let delta h be the holes created and delta e be the electrons created means you have h plus delta h and e plus delta e since these are created in pairs electron and holes this is equal now see how the difference how the rate of change is happening delta h upon h will be much less than delta e upon e because h is much higher it is denominator here e is lower it is denominator here so this value is more than this value so change in the electrons to the total electrons is more than change in the holes to the total holes and electrons are minority carrier on this side so the current due to minority carrier the change we are not interested in the absolute value of current what we are interested is to measure the change when the light int intensity is changing delta e is changing and change of delta e to total e is much more as compared to delta h to to total a holes similarly for n side also we can show if we take n side of the semiconductor this junction this is n side and this is the depletion what are the majority carriers electrons are in majority holes are in minority so electrons are much much greater than holes when photon strikes e h pairs are generated delta e delta h may be uh, let us take that as increase delta h is increase in holes this is the increase and both these delta e and delta h are equal because they are created in pairs now see delta e upon e is much much less than delta h upon h here delta e upon e was greater in p side here n side delta h upon h and 
H is minority carrier here. So change in minority carriers as compared to the uh, total carriers is much more than change in the majority carriers and in the reverse bias the current is dominated by minority carriers. So the change in current in the reverse bias is more observable and that is what is the function of the photodiode. We want to measure the signal, the, the intensity and then generate the required signal. We may operate a switch. Uh, simple circuits we can make and the, if we draw the characteristics graph, if this is the I for in the forward bias is always in milliamperes. Please remember, I in reverse bias is in microamperes. This is the reverse voltage. This is forward voltage. The we get this kind of graph, and this is intensity. This is I1, I2, I3. So we have observable change in current with change in intensity and that is what as I said is the purpose of photodiode. So this is broadly the basic working of the photodiode. Uh, I hope it is useful. Thank you.